Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again. In this video, we're going to show you how to hook up your HD camera. It's connected through USB, and this is a 1080p HD camera, and it connects through USB. So most of our units comes with a cable, something like this. It's a brown connector. Yours might be yellow, and at the end of it, you have two USB ports. Now, sometimes your Dodge Ram maybe has like a mini USB that connects to the car. That connects to your car and retains one of the factory ports. With that said, you need the USB cable and let's plug it into the correct slot. So if you look at this connector, there's a groove on it and also you gotta find the correct spot. So based on this connector, you have two grooves on the bottom and a groove on the left and that would go right here. And how you check that you have the correct connection for the USB port is if you uh, if you plug in your phone to one of these ports, your phone should charge. If it doesn't charge, that just means it's in the wrong port. And the next thing you have to do is connect the USB DVR camera. So one of them's labeled USB 1, the other one's labeled USB 2. Sometimes it'll be labeled OTG or USB 2. Uh, the USB port does not matter for the USB DVR camera. Let's open this right here. And this is what you'll get in the box. So this is the DVR camera. And you have a red connector. This red connector connects straight into here. Let's do that right here. Once you've made this connection, you should have a USB port and connect the USB port to one of these ports on the unit. So let's connect it here. After you've connected the HD, HD camera, you can see there's a light there. It also has an SD card reader here that you can insert to do recordings on a video. After you've done that, you can see that the USB icon pops up at the top. What we need to do now is you can see if I go to apps, I don't have the application here. I need to go into file manager and it's going to be different for different units. This one specifically in file manager looks like this. I press the three lines and I can scroll down to USB storage, which is right here. If I press USB storage, I can see I have a bunch of different apps here. And what I need to install is the fvcardvr.apk. So I will install this application. Asks me to install. On certain units, you might have an install button on the bottom right. Press install. Install. Once we've installed the app, it will show up in the app list. So now that it's installed, I will press done. I will go to app list. And you can see I have the application right there. So this is my camera. Now if I press on this app, it's gonna ask me for permissions. Let me show you right here. Open the app up. This is what it looks like, allow. Request is granted. And now I can scroll to the video feed. Let's see, playback. Mm. So it is connected. I think what I need to do is plug in an SD card and then it'll start showing me the video feed. So unfortunately, I don't have an SD card right now, but that's how to set up the USB DVR camera HD 1080p. Just plug it into the USB port. Once you do that, go into File Manager and find the application that you need to install. So the this will pop up on a unit as a USB device. And I go to three lines. Pull that menu out, scroll to USB storage, and you can see I need to install this APK. That's a quick rundown. Make sure you put an SD card inside so that the video footage does show. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for future content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.